I'm going to walk us through steps 41 through 50 of Freed Code Camp's new responsive web design's first project, Learn HTML by Building a Cat Photo App. For this first step, we're going to add a button so that we can submit our form. So I'm going to add a button. And we're going to just put the text submit. So this is, this is, te oh, sorry. Um, this is telling us that the, a button that doesn't have um, uh, an action attribute is just going to automatically um, submit the form. But um, in the next step, we're going to specify that we actually, um, we want to specify that it's the action. Um, and it's similar to, um, sorry, type. Um, uh, we want to specify that uh, just as we specify that this was text, even though it didn't actually change anything, um, just to make sure our HTML renders the way that we want it to. Um, so donate to Free Code Camp if you can. They're great. Um, they're gonna that pop up comes up every now and then. Um, so next, we're gonna add a radio button. So before the text input. So this this is a button that you can just uh, click. And so we're gonna add this. Um, um, so that we can specify, are we, is this an indoor cat or an outdoor cat for the, um, for the cat photo? So just for our form. Um, so on this next step, we're going to add the label, um, tag around it. And this is supposed to be helpful for screen readers. I'm actually not familiar um, with how it helps, but I mean, just anything to improve the accessibility of your website is, is good to do. So, um, and, and like I said, or sorry, I was saying earlier that if you put um, tags inside of another tag, this would be an example where you don't need to indent. Um, it's just people normally don't um, indent the label and then the input. Um, same with if I were to make this um, bold with the strong tag around it, um, I wouldn't just because it's, it's, the strong tag is just one of those, or like the, if we were to make it italic or something like that, um, we don't need to um, indent it. Um, so next we're gonna do add an ID element. So this should be unique. So each ID, you don't wanna ever reuse the same ID. Um, and so, and also um, when you're adding attributes to an element, it doesn't matter what order. So I could put it first or last, so before or after the type attribute, and it doesn't matter. Okay, so it doesn't actually change what this looks like, but um, it, it could be helpful later down the line. Um, so next we're going to add another radio button. So actually, it's, since it's going to be exactly the same, we're going to add it after. We can actually just copy and paste it. And remember, this, this ID has to be unique, so we're going to just change it to outdoor, and then we got to change this to outdoor. So people know, oh, which one am I selecting? So right there, did you see? I just was able to click both, so we're going to fix that. Um, because you can't have an outdoor and an indoor cat according to this. So that's where the name attribute comes in. So we're gonna add a name attribute to both and it's gonna say indoor, outdoor. And so this is gonna say, hey, um, we can only choose one of these because the, the selection of this radio button is the value for indoor, outdoor. So now I can only select one. When I select the other, it unchecks. Um, the other one. So next, we have a little bit of an issue. Here, we added the, um, what we can see right here, um, the name is cat photo URL. So when we get the form, it's gonna send whatever text is here, it should be a URL, um, and it's gonna be associated with its cat photo URL. So the issue here is both of these have the same name, indoor, outdoor, and all it's gonna say is indoor, outdoor is on if when we, they submit the form which is why we need to add the value attribute. So this is going to be, um, for, for us, we're just going to do the same as the ID. So now it's going to say indoor is on or outdoor is on, just so that we can actually understand what's going on with our form. Um, so next we're going to add a field set attribute. And so it's just going to group um, a bunch of inputs or labels or whatever into a, a group. So. And also it's, it's gonna change a little bit of what it looks like. I'll show you in a sec. So field set. And so remember, now this is an area where we would indent like that. Um, so for most things you do, so now we have this box around everything. 
most things you would input uh indent but for this input we wouldn't and for a strong tag um, you typically would not indent um, okay so this last step we're going to add the legend so this is going to just kind of say right if you just saw indoor outdoor you could probably figure out what's going on but we can just add this legend um, to um, to ask the individual who is submitting the form um, just to just a question um, and so now they know okay I'm submitting an outdoor cat photo um, just to make it a little bit more clear all right and so that was steps 41 through 50